Abby Cornish and Jacqueline King Schiller are best friends and co-authors who have brought their passion for food into Peskin, a feel-good cookbook. The book explores their shared food journey through a collection of recipes, stories, photography, and more. Everyone, please give a warm bell brunch welcome to Abby Cornish and Jacqueline King Schiller. <laughs> Oh, because he kept trying to get in. Hi. Hello, ladies. Hello. 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 Hi. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Welcome. How are you? You're so cute. You can walk through this way. <laughs> you can walk through here. You scoot over. I'm little. I'm little. She's so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to snack on Allie? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's That's fine, I love it. Uh, I love it. I do pick up Allie all the time just for fun. I would. I would. She's With so little. consent. White. Actually, yeah. I just love to actually hug her because she fits right in my nook. I do. You know? I really fit in nooks. Yeah, hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so we're so excited to have you. Please tell us about Peskin and like, you know, your inspiration behind it. Do you want to go or should I? <laughs> you, want me, you want me to do it? Should I go? I can I do it. I was going to say, should I go? <laughs> Yes, you should. I love fish. <laughs> and I think they just needed a book about it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, we got one. We have one. We have one for you. Yeah, let's yeah, hold we it started, on. We started, um, she asked me to teach her how to cook when I was 30. When she turned Ain't 30. Ain't no shame. No, and, we um, <laughs> and um And we had such a wonderful time cooking together. And it, Abby, well, you can tell tell people, but she felt like it really made her life better, mm -hmm. learning how to cook. And we focused on a lot on really healthy recipes, including a lot more vegetables and fruit and just things that really give you a lot of energy and make you feel good. And so we wanted to share those recipes with other people, too, because yeah. we're like, this is amazing. This has made my life better. Yeah. Like it's We want to share project. it with people. And it was really interesting because at the time in my life, I was transitioning as we do right like in your you, you get out of your 20s and you're in your 30s you're like oh I gotta get my shit together I wasn't gonna say that but yeah <laughs> <Not you. laughs> can we swear on this yes. show? Oh, yeah. you can do whatever oh. you want okay. oh wow okay so um we've so, yeah. said bad things <laughs> <laughs> okay we better cut things out <laughs> so go for it so anyway so so Obviously, he's my best friend. I met Jackie 13 years ago um, through mutual boyfriends at the time. I split with mine. She got married, <laughs> had a baby. <laughs> Whatever. Living the dream. <laughs> and, uh, and at 30, I had a bit of a moment. I was like, we were in Muskoka, Canada, and I was reading a book by John Tarrant called Bring Me the Rhinoceros. And there was a chapter about a woman who'd become enlightened in the kitchen. And for me, that was so obscure. Like it's, you know, because I always thought that was and so enlightenment you have to sit was somewhere on a hilltop else. And right. Yeah, I was like, do you have to be Buddha? Like, do you really have to sacrifice and go to Tibet? Anyway, so, so I was talking to Jackie. I was like, is it possible to find enlightenment in the kitchen? She said, yes. <laughs> little like sparkle in the eye and I said can you teach me how to cook so we started to cook together and then do you want to tell the story of the Sunday markets and yeah so we just started on usually on Sundays we would like go to the farmers market and we would see what looked fresh and amazing and we would come over to my house mostly because I have a baby so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah we did it in my house when we started this book I was pregnant. Oh. Yeah, like two months yeah. pregnant oh. here. And now he's two and a half. Oh. So that's how long been we've been working on it. Oh, yeah, he's out little it. egg timer. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, wow, did it really take that long? <laughs> and can you share some of your favorite recipes with us? It's hard because I love a lot. But I don't know, but if you had to pick. I think, um, I think it depends what it's for. There are some really great super easy weeknight recipes. Mm -hmm. That's the um, one we're interested yeah. in. Yeah, so there's like a salmon with mango chutney and pecans, and because the mango chutney has so many spices in one? it, this Ooh. one, Ooh. it that. tastes, like the flavor tastes really complex, and like it's, you know, takes you a long time to make, but you literally just spread the chutney on like you're putting jam on toast, 
press some nuts on top, fake it, mm -hmm. and once it's in the oven, you just leave it in there for 25 minutes, and it's done. And it's like you can serve it at a dinner party because you can get a really big piece of salmon, or you can make a little piece and it's for, for your family. And there's other there's other things that are quick five minute things. And then we have some other stuff like this lasagna that maybe oh, if yeah, you, it's lasagna. it's totally dairy free, mm. oh, but I serve it to my family like on, oh. on, on Easter. Dairy free lasagna? Oh. It's dairy, completely dairy free, but you wouldn't know. So oh. I, so yeah, so I have a couple of cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple of cousins that are, um, you know, in their 20s, and they're like very skeptical of vegan food. And so I just served it to them without telling them, mm. they and know. they were getting thirds. Yeah, and not just like, seconds, but like, thirds. Yeah. And at the very it's end, so I'm like, did you around. know that lasagna is vegan? That's like, the only way to it. do it with people who, like, yeah, I yeah totally. That. Like, but grandma that's, makes great but that's how you also yeah. convert people, right? right? Because then yeah. they have it, and they're like, oh, well, I don't automatically think it's going to be So is that what you mean by the feel good ingredients, is just sort of substituting things that maybe are a little kinder? Yeah, I mean, I think anything that is plant-based, any vegetable can be a feel-good ingredient. Yeah. Like it has nutritional benefits that are um <laughs> 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 laughing. You're, you're making me laugh. Sorry. I was just like, did I do something fun? Oh. Um anyway, can yeah, you Yeah, ingredients <laughs> that make you feel good. So what we did in the book is we just in each recipe <laughs> in each recipe we chose one of the ingredients to just talk about why it's good for you. Yeah. And like why it makes you feel good. Rather than writing a basically a textbook on nutrition, right? Because right? Yeah. it starts to get a little bit, if there's like 20 <laughs> vegetables in a dish and it you talk so about boring. all the nutrients in oh each one, it's really, yeah, yeah like we no get it, it's does. good for you. Yeah, I yeah. Get it. it's yeah. totally fine, like yeah. whatever. So and we just chose little <laughs> ingredients to spotlight in each recipe. Right. Yeah, and I that, feel like you two are gonna make a cookbook. She's whispering, <laughs> I'm whispering that we love each other. <laughs> I'm like, do you guys wanna find a kitchen to go through by yourself? Why do you tell everybody that? Cooking because I won't. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I won't. Eat seafood. We're, yeah. yeah. We live in LA. We're in New York. So oh, okay. I'm about to say, we're yeah. going to go into the farmers markets. I should have assumed LA. Yeah. What, what's your favorite, like, farm? What was the farmers market you guys would go to in LA? Mm. Like, the Be Beverly Hills. <laughs> Beverly Hills. Yeah. 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 That's the closest one to us. She's an like, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't my. I, that's kind of like. <laughs> Is that Wait, funny? What's it going to look like? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, shut but, up, you, just, but you guys call it the green market here. Right. right? Really? You guys have. Yeah, you we have, have it like. Um, Is that the same thing as Seamless or? No. Yeah. No. Different. You have it by a Union Square. It's yeah. like oh, yeah. almost every day, which yeah. is yeah. anywhere yeah. else. It's usually once a week, but here I think it's only it closed one all, day. Yeah. One day a week, and it's amazing, it's, especially it's in the spring and summer. So. Um, Oh, sorry? Besides the, the recipes, the book looks beautiful. The pictures, I mean, it's just oh, really the aesthetic. Stop, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a fun process, cooking, taking the picture, like putting it all together? Yeah, we, we designed everything pretty much. Like all, of, we made all of the food, everything you see, you can actually eat. There was no like self tanner on anything <laughs> like right. you hear about. I read, it was really funny because I read five food styling books. Right. Like it cost me like 200 bucks. And I said, Jack, this is the stupidest thing I've ever read <laughs> in my life. It's like, if you want something to look moist, spritz it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, wait. We <laughs> and then we went to a bunch of, um, not to diss on all that, but we went to a bunch of uh, um, surface places. And I was like, they rent for like 150 bucks a week, right? And I go, <laughs> so all the yeah. surfaces that, that you see um, are either made by me in my art studio. Oh, cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mum. And uh, and or our marble that we hunted down mm -hmm. in marble. Got like scraps of marble. Yeah, like it was like right before they went to the grave. Yeah. It was like <laughs> we were like, hey, where's your marble at? And they were like, well, we're about to throw it out forever. And we were like, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that off your hands. Yeah. Looks like a unicorn. Great. I love that. It makes the book it. even more impressive. Oh, no, no. It's, yeah, it's all us. Yeah. And so we have all these props. We own all these props. Yeah, they're like our actual dishes. This is, we have all this. And um, uh, Pete oh, helped. Australia. Bondi. 
Yeah, so Pete Halverson did the landscape. Um, Jennifer Rivera did the lifestyle, which you can see. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> and um, Abby, besides the cookbook, you're also, of course, a very successful actress. You were in three billboards. You were in WE. What are any future movies coming up that we should be on the lookout? We love, I mean, I, I recognize you for quite a few films. <laughs> You'd hope so, right? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be weird if you didn't. I know, I'd be like, wait, you see? I'd, you'd be like, uh, what's your name again? Yeah. Um, why are you here? <laughs> Who? Are you a rapper? Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> Not no, a so rapper. <laughs> also a rapper, by the way, though. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know you're not a rapper in this book. You are one. Um, so, I just finished a movie called The Virtuoso um, with. Tony Hopkins mm. and Eddie Munson, David Morse, Anson Mount, killer crew, killer cast. Um, I can't tell you too much about it. Okay, but it's gonna be cool. Killer cast. Just watch it. Out this yeah. year? Nah, I think like maybe next year. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, going to Australia to shoot a six-part miniseries. Ooh, nice. I like that. Mm. Got to use my own accent for the first time in <laughs> freaking 15 years. I'm like, this is awkward. <laughs> You're like, you sound too American. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what happened to your R's? I'm like, R's? Are you kidding me? They're like, yeah, you're saying car. And I'm like, I'm saying car. You're like, car <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, can, we, can you do more Australian? She's good at it. Yeah, she's <laughs> car what? Leave me alone. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Where? In the car park? In the car park? <laughs> what? Yeah. Saw what? Saw what? S no, not saw what. <laughs> saw what? No, so. So. There what? we go. Saw what? S no, not saw. It's saw. not a hacksaw. <laughs> Just saw. be like, so. So. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. There, there we go. Let's yeah. gotta give it. A little attitude. Oh. A little oomph. You got this. Well, you two have been the greatest treat. Thank you so much, Abby <laughs> Jackson.